Bonjour, hello. It's Janice from Janice in France. You know, when I decided about eight months ago that I wanted to move to France, there were so many items that I had to think about, but the most important items were my animals. I have a cat and a dog that I'll be taking with me, and you wouldn't believe what all you have to do just to get an animal there. So I'm going to tell you, if you've ever thought of traveling, even for a vacation and taking your animal, listen to me. I'll tell you what it's all about. First of all, if you want to carry your animal with you in the airline, underneath the seat, you have to have a collapsible bag like this. And this one is what the airlines really like. I bought two. One is for my Shih Tzu and the other one is for my cat. And they have like a little furry bottom that you can use. And they also have like a little area so that I can zip this open for my Shih Tzu to at least stick its head out. And also, they require you to have three sides that are vented. Here's the side that's vented. Here's the side that's vented. And this, of course, is vented. So you have to have the right bag. Also, your animal cannot weigh over 17 pounds, including the bag. So you're either going to have to put them on a diet or do something. Buster, I watch his diet really carefully. And Kitty, she's okay. She's no problem. So let me tell you what I do. To get everything ready, I bought Buster a little collapsible bowl here for water so that he doesn't get too thirsty, and I can also use it for the cat. There's a wonderful zipper pouch right here. And you know, just like we have to have a passport, they do too. I have to make sure that they have a rabies shot, and they have to have a physical, make sure that they're able to go, and they also have to have a 15-digit microchip. Now here in the United States, we have, I believe, a 13-digit but they have to have a 15 digit. So you have to have the rabies shot, the physical, and the microchip done on the same day. So I just took both animals and they did it. And I think it took about a total of 15, 20 minutes. It was really quick and they don't feel anything. They didn't have any kind of adverse reaction. So it was all good. So what I'm going to do is when I go back, because I have to go back 10 days before I leave, take both animals back and reassure this veterinarian that they are still in good traveling shape. And then they send this off to someone here in Georgia and they sign off on it and then I get the paperwork about three or four days before I leave. They have to have a passport just like me. So in order to get into France, that is the ruling for animals. Now there's no quarantine. Now, to get into the UK, they have to have the rabies, the microchip, and they also have to be dewormed. But I didn't have to worry about it this time. Now, if I ever take Buster over to the UK with me, I will have to have him dewormed and another rabies shot. But I also found out it doesn't matter how many rabies shots they have, it's not going to hurt them. So that made me feel better. But this is my idea. I'm going to have all of Buster's paperwork ready in his pouch. The same thing with the cat. And then I have a water bowl for the cat and I'll have a water bowl for the dog also because I don't like them drinking out of the same bowl. And I just ran across this this morning and I thought, wow, this is so ideal. My cat loves these treats. And if I get three pouches and put them in here, I will be able to take care of his feeding because we're leaving from Atlanta to New York, so I'll have to feed him that evening. And then I can feed him a little bit that morning because the vet has asked me not to feed them any later than four hours before. So we don't leave till about 4.30, but you know we'll be able to get there about 1.30, so about eight o'clock that morning, I will feed my cat and my dog. Another great thing I found out this morning, I went to the store and I looked into the refrigerated area for food and they have very soft bag of soft food for my dog and so I'm going to carry his food in here too. Now his food will have to be refrigerated but you know I have a hotel room that probably will have a refrigerator. If not I'll just ask them to refrigerate it. 
they won't mind. I don't think anyway. So anyway, I will have all of their items for them right here. And then I will have the final paperwork. Now, let me tell you about something that I did not know until I started this journey. They cannot go through TSA in this bag. They have to be taken out. So Buster will have to walk through the x-ray. I have to make sure that this goes through the conveyor belt so that they can test it and x-ray it, make sure that there's no danger or there's nothing in here that would cause any type of danger to the airline or the passengers. Now, my cat is not going to be that friendly. So I found out a few weeks ago that you can request a separate private room. So this will be so easy because I will be able to get a private room. And that way, my cat, who's not the friendliest person in the world, will be able to go to the private room, will take my cat out, put my cat where I can hold him, and then they will scan my bag, and it doesn't have to go through the conveyor belt. And then we'll put the cat back in, and then we're good to go. And I am so relieved because I just knew I could just see this cat running around the airport. I mean, you know, that's the last thing you want to do before you're getting ready to move to another country. It's going to be stressful enough as it is. But fortunately, I have a daughter that is traveling with me, so she will help me out. So this is the deal with traveling with animals. You have to make sure that you call way in advance. I decided in May that I wanted to move to France, so I immediately got my airline ticket and my daughter's airline ticket, and I made a reservation for both animals on the plane because only two animals are allowed to travel in any one area. So I wanted my dog and my cat to have reservations right away, and I went ahead and paid for them. It's $125 per pet. Now, I'm flying from Atlanta to New York, so unfortunately, I'm paying $125 twice for that flight, and I have to pay $125 twice to fly Air France to Paris. But you know what? I just did it. I wanted to do it for me as much as the animals to not stress them out on a nine-hour flight. So I did that, and I made my reservations in October, I believe, on Delta. So I went ahead and got a reservation for them too, and I will pay for them when I get to the um, airport that morning. So anyway, I hope I've covered everything. So first of all, you have to make sure that you make a reservation for your pet, and you may or may have to pay right then and there, I'm not sure. Right now it's $125 for them to go in the cabin with you. You can only carry one animal and thus that's why I'm taking my daughter. She will take one animal, I will take the other. You have a certain amount of time between the rabies shot and when you leave. You can't have the rabies shot two months ago and then leave on the 30th of January. It has to be within a certain time frame. I believe it's 21 days if I'm not mistaken. Please make sure that you check the airline that you're traveling. Even though I know Delta is affiliated with Air France, I wanted to make sure that their policies were the same as Air France, and they just happen to be. So you need to make sure, because American Airlines, British Air, they may all be very different. So make sure you check with that airline first before you plan on taking your pet. You must have a pet carrier that has ventilation on three areas and it must be able to be moved and the animal must be able to stand up in it. Your animal and the carrier cannot be over 17 pounds and you must make sure that your animal has their paperwork. Carry it in a Ziploc bag and their microchip number is in here and so is their rabies tag. You must make sure everything is above board. Their paperwork has to be here just like you have to make sure your passport is ready to go. And now, of course, you have to make sure that you have your COVID shots, including the booster. I'm just letting you know it is possible, but in order to take animals, you have to do a lot of reading and what they're wanting and make sure you do everything. And you have to make sure you have a veterinarian that can do it. Not all veterinarians are able to do it. 
So anyway, that's just my video on how to take animals to Europe with you. And you know, even if you want to do like a week or two trip and take your animal with you, it's certainly possible. Just follow those rules. This is Janice, Janice in France. Thank you. Au revoir. Thank you.